as ready as it's going to be. All right. Okay, cool. Let's play that awesome theme song. Yay! All right. Hey, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Kaboom Room. We're coming to you today with a special episode. Uh, this is our Skylanders Trap Team pre-launch Kaboom Room. Let's go. All right, so this is going to be a little bit different episode from usual. Um, as you can see, we're not sitting on the couch. We are sitting in our video game chairs. We're, uh, we're up, up on these uh, nice official looking office chairs. Um, well, we have some other video game chairs, but they're upstairs. Yeah, and we have a very special guest with us today. We have Mini Kaboom. Toys editor Dark Child on the stream with us. Say hi, Dark Child. Hi, Dark Child. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So we weren't actually planning on doing a show today, but uh, Dark Child and I talked. It's so weird to call you that, by the way. Um, <laughs> I've always had weird, like you know, saying people's screen names issues. Uh, anyway, we talked this week, and um, we thought it would be helpful to bring you a show uh, that helps you um, prepare for launch day for Skylanders Trap Team, which is tomorrow. Um, there's a lot of information floating around out there. Go ahead, sorry. Sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Hello? Did we lose Dark Child? One sec, guys. Technical difficulties. <laughs> this happened to every. This this happens to everybody. <laughs> Difficulty. All right. Let's see if we lost him in the hangout. Yep. Hangout died. That's what it was. No. Okay. We'll send another invite here. So while we're waiting on Dark Child to come back, um, let's try this again. So we thought it would be helpful uh, to do a show and just talk about all the places that you can shop for Trap Team tomorrow, all the figures that are coming out, um, and to help you get the best possible deal that you can get on the game. Because there are a lot of places where you can you may have pre-ordered the game, um, and we all know that if you're actually going out there tomorrow to buy Trap Team and to buy figures, you're going to be spending a lot of money. So our goal with this stream is to just try like to help Disney you. Just like Disney Infinity 2.0. Yeah, so our goal with the stream is to try to help you save some money tomorrow. Um, I think we've got Dark Child back. Yep, for whatever reason, my router decided it was not happy with something and decided to drop everything that was connecting to everything. No problem, no problem at all. So I was just uh, telling everybody that um, the goal of our, uh, our show today is just to kind of give you the best information that we can give you to help you with your launch day shopping tomorrow for Trap Team and to try to help you save some money. If all possible and you know, maximize your grabbings. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I guess my first question, Dark Child, is uh, um, if I'm going out tomorrow to buy Trap Team and I don't have the game pre-ordered, where should I be going? Honestly, there's there's no wrong answer. Everybody should have it on the shelves. Uh, the the big contenders this year are primarily going to be Toys R Us first, and then GameStop and Toy uh, GameStop and Target, you know, kind of straddling each other for second. Uh, Walmart is always there, but in my experience and many people's experiences. Walmart is just such a big company that they really don't care that there's a launch. You know, they'll put the product out, they'll make it available. You might even have some employees who are conscientious enough to actually put the stock out you know, at midnight, but they're, they're not going to make any big fuss over this. And in my experience in the past few years, I've turned away from Walmart for everything except for store exclusives because they typically don't have their store exclusives ready at midnight. Uh, they, they just give you kind of blank stares when you ask about it, and they aren't happy to, you know, go in the back and look, which I'm sure 
there's a reason for that. You know, I'm sure that they're told to go in the back and look by everybody for you know everything. But when you can verify, you know, on their own website that the stock is in the store, and you know, the, the, the main company you know, will tell you, oh, sure, just go and pick it up, and the employees in the store won't give you a hand with that. You know, there, there's no reason to give that company your business anymore. You know, Toys mm-hmm. R Us is basically flagship, you know, leader for Skylanders. Uh, they're actually doing a live stream with Chaos taking over their Twitter stream and showing play footage today. Oh, that's cool. Uh, in many locations, <laughs> they're doing Pardon. a midnight launch, and then they'll be open. It's either an hour or two hours early. I, I guess it depends on where you are. They're going to be open nationwide at 8 a.m. tomorrow, you know, whatever your local time is, and, and you know, going to have the launch then. Uh, so I, there are going to be some midnight launches tonight? There are. Uh, My Toys R Us in Johnson City, Tennessee, <laughs> Pardon have me. a midnight launch. Uh, I know that... You know, your local one is is not going to you know have a midnight launch, but they're going to be open at 8 a.m. So they're going to be open early for the following day. Yeah. GameStop's corporate you know didn't authorize a midnight launch for this, but they're supposed to be opening at either eight or nine o'clock you know tomorrow morning. Uh, you may want to call your local store and you know, check to make sure. Um, I'll actually have to touch base with mine to make sure because I don't remember. What it was. They okay. told me they'd be opening early but you know, I don't remember you know how early they opened the game. So call your local Toys R Us. There's a chance they may be open tonight at midnight. Um, if not then uh, lots of stores opening early tomorrow at eight AM so just check uh, check with the retailer that you want to purchase from locally. Um, is there is there any difference between the different stores and what they're offering in terms of the starter game itself? There really is not. Last year, GameStop had an exclusive with the Skylanders Dark Edition, which was a $100 version versus a $75 version of the starter. Yeah. And it, it included an extra couple of figures, and every figure in it had a, you know, it was a variant. It was a dark color scheme. <coughs> colored figures. Yeah. But the cards and the stickers and everything else, you know, matched that, that color scheme, and everything wasn't there. This are they year, not doing the that Dark... this year? Well, GameStop does have them, but they are not exclusive to GameStop. So if you, you know, pre-ordered, you know, you are able to get the Dark Edition anywhere. Uh, I got mine through GameStop simply because, you know, one, they were really helpful last year, and two, Toys R Us waited so long to actually get all of the worst, the little scan cards. You know, yeah. Red, it, GameStop, you could go in and say, I want to reserve this, and they would go ahead and take your money, put your name down, and you should at least a receipt with your reserve on it. Toys R Us required you to have these laminate cards that had a list of barcodes on the back that they would scan for the individual plaque, mm-hmm. and then they would staple your receipt to that. I ended up getting the 3DS version pre-ordered at Toys R Us just because it was the last one that I pre-ordered, and... Everyone else, you know, Target and GameStop had their stuff ready to go as soon as it was announced. You know, as soon as everything was ready to go, they were able to take, take my money. So where do uh, you have pre-orders still, at this year? I have three pre-orders set up. I have Toys R Us for the 3DS. I have yeah. GameStop Dark Edition, and I have Target for the regular edition. Uh, mine is going to be on PS3. My, okay. You know, platform in the house. So for the Dark but, Edition, can we get that anywhere? Can we get that at Toys R Us or GameStop tomorrow? Most likely. Uh, there is no official word out as to whether there will be initial extra copies other than what was reserved. I don't see why there wouldn't be because GameStop has <clears> been <throat> continuously selling additional copies of the Dark throughout the year. Yeah. Last year kind of a, a limited edition setup, but this year it's, you know, Whoever you know, whoever has it on, Activision is you know happy to help them out. Okay. But uh, as as far as you know, what you can get and where, there may still be time you know to pre-order or at least get one of the pre-order scan cards at Target. If you haven't pre-ordered yet, you know, or if you're not happy with the fact that you know out of GameStop or in the case of Toys R Us, their only pre-order bonus is the pre-ordered packages will be what they call a legendary package, which is misleading because 
There are, of course, Toys R Us Legendary Skylanders that are exclusive to that store. This is not the case with the Legendary Starters. The Legendary Starters have a coupon in them that will give you a free figure, accessory, you know, something from a previous Skylanders game. Mm -hmm. It'll be redeemable, you know, probably for a relatively limited amount of time. Probably, I'd say, within 30 days after a launch. I could be wrong. Nobody has, you know, seen one or had one. Is that going to be in the actual box so you won't be able to use it on launch day? That is what, you know, they have said, but I don't know for sure. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know if it's going to be limited to pre-orders or if they're going to give those out to, you know, folks who pre-order first. And then after that, you may be able to buy one off the shelf or if it's, they're going to give you a little envelope if you pre-ordered that happens to have that coupon in it. Say hi to Hoarder Gamer. Hi. Hi, Hoarder Gamer. How's it going, man? Thanks for watching. Uh, ch check back in tomorrow. We're going to be doing a launch day marathon. And uh, make sure to follow us if you want to win some free Skylanders. We're going to be giving stuff away tomorrow. Uh, Hoarder Gamer wants to know if we're getting the Dark Edition. Um. We are not getting the Dark Edition, right, Abby? Uh, I don't even know what the Dark Edition it's, is. It's the edition of the game where the figures that come with it are like painted all dark and scary. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no. We probably won't get that. We may pick it up later. Uh, Dark Child, are you getting the uh, Dark Edition? I am. I have it pre-ordered at GameStop, and I'll be at GameStop when they open to pick it up. Are the figures that come in the Dark Edition, are they, um, do they have different powers or anything like that when you actually put them in the game? Last time they did, they had higher base statistics, so they hit a little bit harder or they were a little bit faster than your average figure. Uh, if I remember correctly, they had the same maximums as their regular figures did, yeah. but as you pulled it out of the box and started playing it new or if you had to do a reset on the figure, their statistics would reset you know, to higher, so you're able to get up and going with them faster. Okay, cool. I will call you back. Um, <laughs> all right. So there was one to say about it though, based on the experience that I had last year. Yeah. GameStop was really nice to do an exchange for me day one because I thought it was defective, and they thought it was defective. Uh, mm -hmm. The reason that that was was when I opened it, uh, the way that it was built is the bottom part of the game actually had the the actual disc in it and the portal and the big poster that you got with it, and it also had the individual cards for the figures with their stats on it. And the figures were in a clear rectangular box at the top, and there was a window in the top of the box so you could see the figures. Mm -hmm. The stickers were mysteriously absent. What it turned out was everyone who opened their boxes for the first week and a half, because... I, I'm part of several communities of you know Skylanders for news and things, mm -hmm. and you know, I expressed my frustration of hey no stickers. It was a week and a half before we found out that we had all opened the left side of the box. Mm -hmm. So they were Actually like hidden taped. in another part of the box or something. They were taped on the inside of the right tab of the box, and so if you didn't pull <laughs> the box completely apart, you would not see that little flap with the stickers in. Well, it's a good thing you never throw boxes away, or you would have lost those, huh? Most definitely. <laughs> um, there were several people who did throw their boxes away and who were really upset at the fact that they no longer had stickers for the figures. Hoarder Gamer wants to know uh, about the Ultimate Chaos Trap. Is that a pre-order bonus, or how does that work? It, it is available in the Dark Edition only. Okay. It, a slightly larger, slightly different molded and it's painted whereas I don't believe the regular Chaos Trap is mm -hmm. version of the original Chaos Trap. So there's a regular Chaos Trap and an Ultimate Chaos Trap. There is. The Ultimate Chaos Trap is, for all intents and purposes, it's the Dark Edition Chaos Trap. The only way for you to get it unless you get it off of eBay after is split up a Dark is to go ahead and buy the Dark Edition. Uh, I didn't even know that Vision, you could like trap Chaos yeah, who do you think goes in the Ultimate Chaos Trap? Um, chaos! Right? I'm right about that, right? No, it's Food Fight. Food Fight? Oh, so, okay. So it's called, it's not called the Chaos Trap with a K, it's it's just Chaos like the regular word. No, no, it is Chaos with a K. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you were just messing with me. Confusing! Yeah. 
So you trap chaos. I guess that means you get to play with them later. Yeah. You do. Awesome. Yes. That's awesome. Are you looking forward to that? Yes. Okay. Because <laughs> chaos has like always been the bad guy for like the last three seasons of Skylanders. So the verdict is, if you haven't already pre-ordered, maybe try to go by uh, Target tonight and pre-order there. Um, you will get a free bonus trap that has a variant villain in it. Yeah. It is outlaw, you know, the outlaw version of Brawl and Chain. Okay, so the traps, the normal traps that you buy don't come with villains already in them, but this is a special thing uh, that, will, uh, that will have a villain already in the trap when you get it, right? Correct. And just to clarify, the ultimate chaos trap does not come with chaos already in the trap. Well, that would just be a broken game, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. What happens to that one guy when you get to him in the game if you're getting the, the target trap with the villain already in it? Does he just be like, is he just not there or something, or how does that work? Well, he will still be in the game. You can mm -hmm. still encounter them, and you don't have to trap villains whenever you encounter them in the game. You can choose to skip over them. Mm -hmm. uh, the special trap with Outlaw Brawl and Chain and potentially other variant villains that they may give away here and there. Uh, somebody has already ch tested this with Riot Shield Shredder that was a giveaway at E3. And if you are pre-ordering through Amazon in Germany, you will get that for free as a bonus. But... What about, what about daily bonuses, Hoarder Gamer wants to know? Does that mean, like, bonuses in the game? That I do not know about. Uh, I, I vaguely remember seeing people talk about in, in some forums about daily bonuses, mm -hmm. and by the time I understood that apparently you were supposed to read one of the signs in the home screen in Swap Force to figure out you know, what Skylanders were more powerful or less powerful during the day. I had already beaten the game, so there, there wasn't any benefit you know, me for that. I know in uh, Swap Force there were days when you could you would get like different experience, like you would earn experience faster. I think it was on Sundays and, and stuff like that. So um, hopefully that'll be back because that was really helpful because you could uh, you could pair up like some of the more. Um, XP boosting things that you could do, and you could all and you could do them on those uh, special boosted XP days to kind of like double boost your experience. So, so that would be cool. Um, okay, so um, let's talk about uh, the sale going on tomorrow at, at Toys R Us. Um, tomorrow morning, uh, grab your local uh, newspaper or maybe check uh, check toys or us new hey new follower hoarder gamer thank you I love that sound yeah it's the best sound yeah, in the world alright um, it's the so, best sound I've ever heard yeah it makes me happy every in time. my life so tomorrow um, toys or us is supposedly uh, having a an awesome sale uh, we, we went over there today. To, we went to our Toys R Us, and we were uh, trying to ask some questions about it, and, and they, were, they were very tight-lipped about it. <laughs> they were very upset that we even knew about the sale. Um, so that tells me that, that it's probably true, <laughs> because I think if it weren't true, they would have uh, just said, no, you're crazy, get out of here. Um, tell us a little bit about how we think that sale is going to go down. Well, the way that it is listed, uh, apparently there was a press release, and I don't know what PR channel it went through, but somebody listed out the full press release, yeah. and other folks have actually gotten a hold of actual physical copies of the fifth. And the way it is going to, to go down, it's supposed to go down anyway, we won't know until it actually happens, is if your store is having a midnight launch, this does apply to the midnight launch. Mm -hmm. But from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., the morning of the 5th, yeah. when every press opens, if you are a Rewards Club member, which is basically just the, the bonus points card, there is absolutely no reason not to get one unless you know, you're a kid and you know, you're, you're not legally allowed to have one. If yeah, they're free. You can sign up for them in the store. If, if that's the case, have your parents sign up for one. It doesn't cost you anything. You Get your basically... parents' permission before doing anything. <laughs> Definitely. But uh, 
the way that works is it's either every hundred dollars or every hundred and twenty five dollars that you spend in Toys R Us they automatically give you five dollars of free money basically to spend in their store so depending on what your purchases would be like on launch day you would get that but on launch day between those two hours for rewards members you get buy one get one fifty percent off of all starters figures and accessories for all Skylanders Mm -hmm. they have also extended that to all Disney Infinity as well Mm -hmm. and then the individual traps are buy one get one for a dollar which is a fantastic deal they're normally $7.99 so instead of you you know paying you know $16 for two you would pay nine so this this sounds like an incredible sale um, and and we've actually kind of changed our purchasing plans a little bit because of the sale because um, for uh, for giants especially we went out and we bought everything that was available on launch day spent a ton of money um, and in a way it kind of spoiled the experience a little bit for us because when we when we first got Spyro's Adventure and we were playing that game we started out with like the, the three starter guys and maybe one other guy and then you know we really got into the game and we started uh, buying you know just one or two guys here and there and it was a really fun thing because it made like, the game like we would buy um like two or three guys like um every week or so well we, yeah we buy like one a week or something yeah. you know and it really made the game feel like it lasted a long time whereas with giants we kind of just bought everything at one time and yeah then, and then also giants turned out to be kind of a not so great game <laughs> anyway giants is actually my favorite giants is your favorite yeah. oh wow i didn't know that well that's cool i told you the other day i thought you were kidding no <laughs> okay well anyway um so we were kind of playing, we kind of did the same thing for Swap Force. We just bought a few to start out with, and then we just bought them a little bit as we went on, and, and it, it felt like it was more fun that way. So we're going to try to do that for Trap Team, but then we found out about this sale. So I think what we're going to try to do for the sale is buy just about everything tomorrow, because really, you're just leaving money on the table if you, if you don't take advantage of the sale, in my opinion. I Definitely. mean, you might feel differently, but... But so we went to the store today, and my question was pretty simple. It was, if I if I buy, let's say, hypothetically, if I buy eight figures, am I going to get four of them for fifty percent off? No. Or is it going to require me to like ring up two at a time, and then you know ring up two more and two more? I really just wanted to know how they're going to handle everything, and they wouldn't talk to me about it at all. And it's doubly complicated when you factor in the Disney Infinity thing because. I could mix, you know, a Disney Infinity figure and a Trap Master, and and depending on the way it's worded, I I should be able to buy one of each and get one for half off. That's what I'm hoping anyway. It would be cool or funny or any way you want to say it if they had a whole store and it was full of Skylander stuff. That would be cool. It, and it was like full of all the seasons. Just, just like every figure imaginable. Yeah. 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 Like um, every figure of Spiral's Adventure, Giants, Swamp Force, and Trap Team. That would be so, a bit And crazy. another mystery season if they're going to make another season. Yeah. That's like you guys need to go to the Times Square Toys R Us store because that's just about what they have. That would be cool. I'd love to do that. They have life-size figures for each of the, the games as they come out. So right now... They have the Swap Force figures in the store, and I'm guessing probably sometime later this evening, you know, between the time that they officially close and you know when they reopen for their midnight launch, they'll probably swap out you know, the ones that they've got up on the wall with the ones for Trap Team. There's online talk of Toys R Us having Wave 2 on Tuesday. I think we've all but confirmed that, Hoarder Gamer. You want to tell uh, your story, Dark Child? Sure. Uh, there is no absolute official confirmation yet, but... Uh, someone who has provided good information in the past, you know, on one of the forums that I'm a member of, you know, did come forward and say that when they went in to check with their local Toys R Us regarding an erroneous email that people got, uh, a lot of people got emails that they pre-ordered to pick up in the store for legendary figures and, and even starters, 
that they would not necessarily be available. And so this person went into their local Toys R Us, the manager went, oh, let me put your mind at ease. And they took them into, you know, the, or took them to the back, opened the door and showed them the stacks of boxes sitting there and went, okay, there you go. These, these are, you know, clearly here. You don't have anything to worry about. And the, the person took notice of the fact that some of the boxes said, you know, do not open, you know, do not sell until 10-5. <laughs> do and not open until Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Yeah. And the other stack of boxes said, do not open until 10-7. And, you know, the guy went, <sighs> is that wave two? The manager said, well, very possibly, I can't talk about that. And would not allow them <laughs> to take any pictures to be able to prove anything. But as the you know, person has provided good information in the past, there's no reason to doubt that. So yeah, that would be cool if that were true. I hope it's true. Um, uh, speaking of Wave 2, though, uh, I, I don't know that anything has changed, but at my GameStop, I was, avail I, I was able to pre-order the Wave 2 Trap Masters, which are supposed to arrive on launch day. So if you haven't already, it may be too late, but if you, you know, want to go by your local GameStop or call them, you may be able to pre-order just the Trap Masters for Wave 2 to pick up tomorrow at GameStop. And who are the, the Wave 2? Well, let, let's let's get into that in just a second. Um, I think we should do a rundown of who's in Wave 1 and who's in Wave 2 and who, realistically, we might be able to buy and pick up this week. Um, getting back to the retailer thing, it sounds like uh, if you want to save money and there's a Toys R Us nearby, definitely put in a call today, see if they're open at midnight. Uh, if they're not, then be there at 8 o'clock in the morning, because we're, we're pretty positive that every store nationwide will be open at 8 o'clock tomorrow. And um, that's going to be your best opportunity to save some money um, on whatever you buy. So it's buy one, get one 50% off on the actual starter of the game. Is that correct? Correct. Uh, um, on any figures, and on uh, and traps are buy one get one for a dollar, right? Correct. Okay. So, I had a question last night that I hadn't actually really thought about it up until this point because, to me, I know this is probably, you know, not a great thing to say, but the least interesting thing about Skylanders to me, each and every time the game comes out, is the gimmick whether it was the Giants or the Swap Force or now it's the Traps, that part of the game is is a novelty. It's not what drives me to play the game. I'm actually usually more interested in, in the core figures than the the gimmick figures. So I haven't really paid a lot of attention to the, the trapping aspect of the game this time around. And my question last night was, what what is the bare minimum of traps that I have to buy to play through the game and enjoy everything and not miss anything and as far as we know the answer is one of every element is that is that accurate correct yeah. so they're going to be essentially eight different kinds eight different elements of traps and within the elements there are different designs of each element's trap i'm asking Yes, you are correct. Okay, so so if I get one air, one tech, one magic, one whatever, I'm good to go. So the starter game, oh, 10, that's right, yeah. And we'll talk about that in a second because of the, the mystery, new mystery elements. But um, because of that, there. so what comes in the starter? What elements come in the starter, trap-wise? Uh, there is supposed to be the log holder mold for life and um, I can't remember I, I think it might be the, the totem pole for, yeah. for the, the water one so life and water yeah, they are life and water and they are the same two specific models in every starter pack including the dark and it just so happens that there are triple trap packs so basically three traps in a pack just like they do with figures and um, those are out tomorrow as well as far as we know and uh, they are going to have the six other elements, not life or water. Um, so I'm thinking that's probably what we're going to buy. We're going to buy the the 
two triple trap packs that way we have one of each of the eight original elements and then um, there are two new I guess quote-unquote mystery elements in trap team that we think are light and dark right or is That's that confirmed the... now or is that still kind of a you know mostly mostly rumor and speculation the names of them are still not completely pinned down but some of the folks who got tours by Toys for Bob at Toys for Bob's development facility they knew about them and had to sign NDAs and apparently either broke their NDAs or and if you don't know what an NDA is it is a non-disclosure agreement meaning that you sign a piece of paper that means that you will not talk about things that they tell you you can't talk about until a certain point. It's a super, super promise not to say anything. Exactly. <laughs> and you get in big trouble if you if you break your promise. I mean, you will be grounded out of, you know, a year's worth of your paycheck if you break that promise. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. But uh, those folks who had seen it went ahead and came forward and said, yeah, you know, Toys for Bob told us about it, and if they had known that they were going to accidentally leak out, and apparently they accidentally leaked out because they either gave footage that they weren't supposed to to early reviewers, or they let people who they were, you know, giving tours to and doing demos for for the media, they gave them access to that exposed those two new elements. Mm. And as a result of them trying to keep everything secret, the poster that always comes with a copy of Skylanders, it has mystery spots on it. Uh, you may have seen it online. Well, those mystery spots are on the poster inside of the shipping boxes. They wanted it to be so super secret. Yeah. Launch. Yeah. Exactly what all available for the game. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, the two so, elements are confirmed. There are screenshots of most if not all of the characters in game for those elements but mm -hmm. the specific names of the two elements are not yet nailed down so um but there won't be any of those traps available at launch tomorrow for the two not. secret I mean, elements possible, mm -hmm. uh, looping back a little bit to the the dark edition with the ultimate chaos trap in it yeah initially when that was announced and came out activision put out a little blurb that said that the only way for you to track Chaos at launch and play with Chaos at the launch was to get the Dark Edition. Mm -hmm. And that upset a lot of people because there's supposed to be a regular Chaos Trap. And we still don't know what wave the regular Chaos Trap is supposed to be part of. We're assuming it is not one or two since you know we, we have reports of what the official characters and traps in those waves are. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people were upset and started, you know, tweeting and emailing and Facebooking at Activision, and so they backpedaled a little bit and said, "Well, there will be limited availability of the regular Chaos Trap at launch. So, when you're going out, if you're going out at midnight, if you're going out at 8 a.m., try to be there as early as possible, as, as in front of the line as possible, if you're wanting to get everything as quickly as you can, because your store very well may have the regular Chaos Trap available." But they're probably going to have a handful. It and that will and that'll be a quote unquote dark uh, element trap, or it is not really supposed to be. It's supposed to be specifically for chaos. Okay, so not elemental in any way. Correct. All right, cool. So anyway, traps are confusing. Buy at least eight of them, and then later on, two more. That's what we know right now. <laughs> That is too confusing. Yeah. Um, let's take a real quick break. We want to tell you about some stuff that we're going to do before we uh, before we move on. And you see that this one already has a trick. <clears throat> when did that happen? Brother two. Oh, that's minutes. that's the bad one. We're, we're going to give a little. Anyway. Um, Brother two. On so we've got two big streams coming up uh, for you tomorrow. We're going to do a launch day marathon of Trap Team. Uh, we're going to hopefully start at about 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we're gonna play as long as we can until we're until we either beat the game or or, or we're bored, which will most likely be that we're bored before we. If we the beat game. the game, that will be like. If we beat the game in one day, then I'm gonna be disappointed, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. We, I mean, if we beat the game, then mm -hmm. we won't have anything to do yeah. next time we play 
But so that'll be tomorrow. How about until we beat a level, then we stop? Well, when we beat a level, we might uh, take turns or something. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Well, we can play together, right? We'll come up with a strategy tonight, and we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll play together. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, that's tomorrow. Uh, also coming up on October 25th, which is um, j just so close that it scares me a little bit. We're doing a uh, charity fundraiser stream for uh, Children's Miracle Network. That's through, uh, yeah, Children's Miracle Network. That's through the Extra Life program, which you can read about. Um, and you've probably heard about it if you're interested in games at all. Extra Life is huge. Uh, basically, the way it works is you donate to uh, a streamer. Uh, like us and um, in return we bring you 24 hours of uh, broadcasting uninterrupted kind of like a streamathon uh, and all that money goes to the Children's Miracle Network uh, hospitals all over the country to help kids with their medical expenses and things like that so that's October uh, 25th and um, the point of me telling you these two things is we're going to be giving away a lot of Skylanders stuff on those two streams tomorrow and October 25th. And then, I guess the only thing we'll be selling is like diamonds. So a couple of things that we have that we're going to be giving away. Um, we have a Wii Starter Edition of Giants. Just a regular Wii. Yeah. We have uh, the Mini Eyebrawl. What's his name? Yeah. Eye Small. Is that right? No, I Eyebrawl. Nope. It is Eye Small. Eye Small. Yeah, we've got one of him. No, uh, no, it's called eyebrow. Well, the mini one's called eye small. Okay. Big one's eyebrow, little one's eye small. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we've got a light cord hex. And, um... Uh, Phantom Cinder. We got, um... We've got a, uh, Jade Firecracken? Yeah, Jade Firecracken. And we'll have some more stuff, too. Um, we're gonna give all that away on, on the stream. We're probably gonna give it away in the Twitch channel just by running uh, a raffle. Uh, and you'll have to be... A follower and you'll have to be present to win and all, all that kind of stuff but um so follow us if you're interested in winning some of that stuff and horror gamer if you want to do it then you can since you're a follower yeah absolutely horror gamer you're you're more than welcome to uh to win some stuff um anybody that follows can win um I, like like some people who followed last night on minecraft Hoarder Gamer seems like he knows a lot about Skylanders. Yeah. I bet he probably already has all that stuff, yeah. if I had to bet. So, But anyway, that doesn't mean you can't win more of it, right? <laughs> so I think we're like two figures off of Crafting. Yeah. I mean, I mean, um, I mean Swamp Force. Okay, so, yeah, win free stuff, follow us, um, support the, uh, the charity stream that we're doing in October. You got anything else to add to all that? Um, no. Okay, cool. All right, so back to more uh, trap team. I was going to do, like, I, I thought this was going to be, like, a regular mini kaboom room, mm -hmm. like, for the toy news and stuff. Do you have toy news that you want to talk about? Yes, yeah, so I'll just save it for the next episode. Okay, yeah, save it, because we'll, we'll get back to our regular broadcast next time. Yeah. I just yeah. got a, a piece of news for, for any... Anybody who can't wait until this evening to, you know, start getting their, their hands wet with Trap Team. What's that? I uh, just found out that apparently in the U.S., in the App Store for, you know, Apple iOS and the Android, you know, Google Play Store, the, at least the demo for Trap Team for the tablet has gone live for both platforms. No way! The demo is live right now? Uh, according to this, it looks like... As of as of about an hour ago, about an hour and a half ago, I just so happened to have my iPad plugged into the stream because I was going to go through a photo library of the Wave One figures. But um, let's pull it up. Breaking news on Kaboom Room. Oh man, there it is. Skylanders Trap is. Team. Yay. Holy cow! So it's free. I'm guessing you probably have to put in some kind of unlock code or something. More than likely, but you know the the details that I just read said that it was supposed to be the demo. Yay, you bought it! Oh, uh, this is gonna show my password. Hang on. Ah! No, <laughs> hang on. I'm gonna I'm gonna hide it just for a second. 
that's even better for you know that's even better for everybody than giving away Skyline. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get all of my App Store account. <laughs> get basically get my credit card. Okay. It's downloading right now. That's awesome. Yay! Might take a while to download, so we'll check back in on that in a little bit. I guess we'll check back in on end of the episode. Yeah. Yes. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. All right, we'll see what that's all about. Maybe we can preview that before we go off the air. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, we talked about traps. We talked about where to buy the game. We talked about how to save money. Um, let's talk about uh, figure availability yeah. Yeah. and short pack and all that stuff. So, um, who who are we going to be able to buy tomorrow, figure wise? Um, you mean like in the starter pack? Well, we know who's coming in the starter. The starter yeah. is uh, is uh, snapshot, which is this guy. Yeah. And he. Uh, and he's one of the trap masters. Yeah, and food fight. Right. He is not one of the traps. Is his name Food Fight? Yeah. Yep. Okay. And and a trap. So you get two figures in a trap instead of three figures like like old games, right? I think. Wait, is he a trap master? Who? Food Fight. F uh, no, Food Fight's just a dude. Okay. Okay. So who else can we buy tomorrow? Um. <laughs> well, for the minis, the magic set is going to be available. <laughs> Themis, Timis, Thomas, Timis, Timis 7, Themis 7, however you say that. Yeah. Thank you for following. You're, he's getting Trap Team tomorrow. Definitely cool. What system? I'm going to ask him what system. Um, maybe, he, maybe. Is there any online to this, to the Trap Team that we know of? There's not. There's not. That that was still a disappointment to everybody that you cannot, you know, have online co-op. Or uh, and this is a little bit of old news if you've been following Trap Team development closely. Yeah. There is PVP in the game. There's what? There is no PVP. What? How can they do that? That's like our favorite part. Oh boy. Well, the fighting yeah. where you make the guys fight each other. Oh yeah. There's no PVP. Oh, what? Yeah. No. The arena stuff is still there, where you can, you know, even do co-op to, you know, fight the bad guys together. Right. You know, that, and each other, you know, to, to challenge each other. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's not in this version. Man. Why is Skylanders doing that? That's to very us? disappointing. I um I heard that there's a tower defense mode too, though. So maybe that'll be, um, or like a wave, like a wave defense kind of thing. So. I believe that's called chaos mode, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Well, that's really disappointing. Maybe they'll patch it in or something. If we Why can... is Skylanders doing this? Everybody much? tweet at Skylanders and complain that there's no PvP, and maybe they'll add it back in. Yeah. Well, remember... Because everybody than... loves the PvP! I love it. Other than yeah. potential critical system fixes... We get to fight each other! Activision will not patch a Skylanders game <laughs> because the Wii itself cannot accept any patches. So whatever comes out at launch, you know, minus anything that just totally breaks the game for systems that, that can take patches, they will not patch new content into it. So if you have a Wii, I'm sorry to say this, but let's hope for the death of the Wii in Skylanders for the next version. Hoarder Gamer says, um, for Skystone Smash, uh, is there online, uh, Skystone Smash, is there online or PvP? Is that just the Skystones that you can play with somebody else over the internet? Uh, according to everything that I have I have seen and read, there's not supposed to be any online you know, interactive connectivity. Uh, yeah. It's supposed to have the same level of online you know, abilities You're that shaking. Swap Force did, which is basically you can look at people in your friends list on whatever platform you're playing on yeah. and see how well they're doing, compare your collections, things like that. Mm -hmm. But there is no online you know, co-op, there's no online online VP, there's there's no online component to it at okay. all. That's disappointing, but I'm not surprised. I am very surprised that they took away PvP, because that was such a fun part of the game. But anyway, we won't dwell on that. Uh, I, I, think the re I think the reason they don't have the online yet is the same reason that they don't patch anything to add new content. It's because the we can't handle it. So yeah, so you gotta keep it to where the Wii is has all the features of the of the other systems. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. And this year, if you if you buy a Wii version, mm-hmm. the Wii U version is available as a free download in the same box. You will get a code so you can get the Wii U version. So we think that that's Activision's way of nudging people away from the Wii into the honestly more mature, more stable. <laughs> Girls are cool. Three. Thanks for following. Um, I I tend to agree with you. Girls are very cool. Um, I'm sure Abby will agree with you too. Being a girl. Glad to have you on the stream. Uh, Hoarder Gamer says that um, uh, the 3DS has uh, some something. Um, probably uh, online Daddy. or PvP. One or the other. So that that might actually be a reason for me to buy that version of the game. Yeah, we got a new follower. Say hi to Girls Are Cool 3. Hey. <laughs> do you think girls are cool? Yes. I do too. All right, anyway. But you're not even a girl. So I still think they're cool. I think everybody's cool, unless they're not cool. If you're not cool, then you're definitely not cool. Yeah. All right. So uh, we're about halfway on the... Uh, Skylanders Trap Team uh, app downloading, which we have no idea what this is going to be. It's probably going to be a loading sc- uh, screen that says log in or enter your code, and, and then we'll be like, okay, cool, we don't have that. <laughs> so, But if it's more than that, that would be cool. Anyway. Um, I guess it's going to be like the other Skylanders apps that we have. It could be, yeah. Yeah, like where you like... We'll find like, out in maybe 10 minutes or so. Yeah. Or right. like at the end of, of this video... So okay, where were we? We were talking about figures. So yeah. we've got uh, we've got snapshot and food fight. Um, and her. Who else can we get tomorrow? I think we can get chopper, right? Yeah. Which is the yeah. little thing on your iPhone? Chopper is by far, in my opinion, the coolest figure they've ever made. And if you don't agree with me, then you're wrong. You don't even know what he does. I don't care what he does. He's a Tyrannosaurus Rex with a with a helicopter on his back. You That's mean, it. That's all you need to know. You mean a parachute? Dark Child, you agree with me, right? It, it does have some merit. I won't say I necessarily <laughs> agree. All right. I, I can understand your point of view. I haven't seen enough of the figures. I may come out, you know, on on your side on this one, but you know, my no, favorite is um, Food Fight. Food Fight. Yeah. yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, okay, so Chopper... I'm guessing what Food Fight will do is he will like, squirt tomatoes out of his gun. That would be cool. Nothing or wrong his, with like, that. Or like, little shotter. Funny Bone, also a cool-looking figure. I just noticed that he has, like, a little spike tail. So is he oh, going to yeah. be some kind of, like, scorpion attack guy? <laughs> I don't know. We have some other... Has there been any video of him? Any gameplay video that we've seen? Uh, there has been gameplay video, but I have... Pretty religiously stayed away from any any gameplay video at all. Yeah, I'm with you. I don't I don't want anything spoiled for me. I feel like I already know too much. So I saw uh, like the full release video and like a little bit of the E3 stuff where Activision themselves and Toys for Bob showed you know video saying here's what the game looks like, here's what it plays so what's like, your name? how the craps work, and as far as people getting to play with different figures, I want to find that out on my own. Order Gamer says he played with Chopper already at uh, at uh, Comic Con in Chicago. Girls are cool. Three is twelve, so she. Uh, I'm I'm assuming. Well, it could be it could be a boy. Boys could think girls are cool. Who yeah. knows? He or she is uh, twelve. So I like that guy. All right. So. Um, okay. So I'll, okay. So. Who, who's the fire girl? Torch? Scorch? What's her name? Torch. Torch? Is that right? She reminds me of um, that um, little like ice girl that we have. Is she the one you're looking forward to uh, most? Um, Abby? Yeah. Okay. She reminds me of um, the little ice girl that had like the little ice shield, I think. Girls are cool likes uh, Funny Bone. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, uh, so that's all the normals, right? Funny Bone, Chopper, and Scorch, and Food Fight? Uh, there's also 
two reposes that are going to be available at launch. There's going to be a repose of Shroom Boom and a repose of Gilgrunt. Yeah, that's right. Um, I've, and and there's another normal that you can get in uh, the adventure pack, right? Blades. Daddy. Daddy. Yep, Blades is available. He's available in the launch adventure pack, which is Nightmare Express, and he is also available in one of the three packs. Yeah, I don't have a picture of Blades. I thought I did. I must have overlooked it Blades? somehow. And there yeah. is a legendary version of him, which is only available at Toys R Us and hey, only Daddy. in Legendary Nightmare Express Adventure Pack. Oh yeah, here's Blades. Um, it's kind of like a blue dragon with like a sword tail or something. Yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. And it has like a little like skeleton yeah. hand like reaching out. At Do we him. know if Blades is a boy or a girl? Um, I think he's a boy. Yeah, he looks kind of like a boy. So do you have like that sword tail and yeah. like those eyes? Okay, so um, let's talk about Trap Masters. Yay. Hey, Daddy. Yeah, honey. Um, I just want to um, ask you something. Yeah. Um, ask, um, Girls Are Cool 3 if, um, he or she is a boy or a girl. Girls are cool three. Abby wants to know if you're a boy or a girl. You don't have to share that information with us if you don't want to. If you'd like to, that is uh, that is totally cool. It's up to you. But we appreciate you being on the stream either way. <clears throat> uh, Hoarder Gamer says Dark Spyro had pics of target display with a price tag for gear shift. So could they possibly be selling gear shift tomorrow at Target? Um. Can you sit back in your chair, please? Thank you. You're just, it, you're just bumping. It's uh, very possible, camera. but what so, is so. probably going to happen is uh, you know, Target also has end cap stickers for the pre order only Outlaw Brawl and Chain traps. I mean, yeah. anything's possible, but the way that their pre order stuff typically works is they're register locked until all of their pre orders are picked mm -hmm. up for a particular store or until the pre-order card is no longer good. If I remember correctly, the pre-order cards are only good for seven days from the date of the pickup. So what if happens you if, you, if you bought a pre-order card and you decide to buy the game somewhere else? Can you get your money back for it? Can you get your dollar back for it? <laughs> that I don't know. Yeah, I wondered about that. You may be able to, but yeah. I doubt it. Okay, Trap Masters. We've got Gusto. Who, He's a trap master. The only way you'll be able to get Gusto is in the 3DS starter, right? Um, I can't remember if he is if he's Wave One or Wave Two. Him, uh, no, he's a Wave One. He is available separately, mm -hmm. but he is also in the 3DS starter. So if you're going to get a 3DS starter at any point Excuse and me. do not want duplicates, do yeah. not Gusto as a single. Um, who else is in the 3DS starter? Uh, there is a. Trap Team version of Barkley, the you know the Skylanders mini or sidekick you know as you will yeah. version of oh, Tree Rex. Rex. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just Gusto and, and a mini. And I'm sure you all know the... that um. Get over. Skylander Dan three. Hello, Welcome to the stream. Skylander Dan. Love your screen name. Very cool to have you on here. Yeah. And I love that noise. Thank you for following. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, Dark Child. We got we got interrupted with our awesome new follower sound. Um, so you said uh, Gusto and Barkley are the only figures in the 3DS starter, right? Correct. And okay. the 3DS starter is, is Barkley a trap master? Uh, Gusto is a trap master. Barkley is a mini. He's uh, tree re the mini tree rex. Okay. Yeah, we already have him. So, okay. okay sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no problem. Uh, the the three D F ten dollars under the regular the regular starters for every other set minus the dark. So the dark is going to be ninety nine ninety nine no matter what you get it for. The starters for regular consoles and tablet are supposed to be seventy four ninety nine. And the 3DS is supposed to be sixty-four ninety-nine. Mm -hmm. And as as you know, as far as we know, and what we've seen so far, the 3DS version does not use, you know, have a space for or recognize traps. 
Uh, not sure exactly how catching the villains works in the 3DS version. It may have, you know, been leaked in online videos, but I have not seen any actual verbal discussions of it since I've avoided all videos like that, so you know, that'll, that'll be a surprise for me once I get my hands on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, if we go to the Toys R Us sale tomorrow and we want Gusto and we want the 3DS game, we're really going to be getting a good deal. We're going to be able to pick that 3DS starter up for 30 bucks, probably. Yep. I can't play it on my DS, can I? I think we, yeah, yeah, I think we might, we might think about that. That sounds like it might be a better deal than... We can't get two, right? Are we going to have to, like, share it or something? Well, I don't know. Let's talk about it tonight. We'll, we'll try to figure it out, okay? Okay. All right, so Gusto is one of the Trap Masters. Um, my favorite figure so far, well, other than Chopper. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of figures that are really great this time yeah. around. I'm, I'm so impressed with the yeah. character design this time. You don't have... You know, generic uh, swap force bird oh, guy no, number one and bird guy number two, and Daddy, you know. You, you know huh? what? What? We should like get um the like, little um thing right here and um and look at which ones like are our favorite. Like, yeah, we can maybe like, do that on yeah, another episode. Yeah. We we'll go back through our old figures and yeah. figure out which ones. Um, I, I meant like the thing of the chat team. Yeah. Anyway, this is Crypt King. He is awesome. Yeah. He has got a giant sword. Which is um, camo a little bit. I think that's just like a reflection. I don't think it's actually camo. I bet it's probably like a translucent plastic. It looks like camo. Can't wait to play with him. And then we've also got um, Wallop. Waller. Wallop. Waller. That's not his name. Waller. Okay. Wallop. Wallop. Who thinks this guy's name is Wallop? Raise your hand. One. Dark Child is raising his hand because he knows. Activision he... is raising their hand. <laughs> who thinks his name is Waller? Abby. And who's going to call him Waller even though that's not his name? Regardless of what we say. Abby. Ow! I know. <laughs> Alright. He looks cool. Giant hammers are always cool. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got... Um, uh, wildfire with uh, his fire and shield thing. Uh, I, he's a trap master, right, Dark Child? He is, and yeah. he is the third figure that is in the Dark Edition starter. So there's a dark version of him? There is. My personal opinion, he's the guy that I'm the least interested in out of all of these uh, Wave 1 figures. Um, he's a little generic. Yeah. I, I get like I get what they were going for, and I think for the concept they did a good job with the I figure. Like him. You like him? Yeah. But it just doesn't appeal to me personally. You might. The fire way. one, like he may be really awesome in the game, though, so we, we might have to wait and see. I, I don't know why, but and they then, really do. And then what's what's the robot guy's name again? Jawbreaker. Jawbreaker, yeah. He, he like, very cool. really creeps me out. He's like a giant walking trash compactor. He he creeps me out. Yeah. Oh, and don't forget that there are there are two variants available at launch of of two of those. There is your favorite, which is the Nitro version of Crypt King. Okay, Nitro the, Crypt King. It and, is. Uh, how do you? Which is the Nitro version? I can't remember what's different about it. It's Target exclusive, mm -hmm. and it is a yellow, and it's it's got yellow as the primary color, and a like white and yellowish usually with some black thrown in checkerboard scheme wherever mm -hmm. there's open space. Last year there was a Nitro Magna Charge and a Nitro Freeze Blade. I'm seeing if I can find a picture of them real quick. Can I get the Skylanders game downloaded yet? Okay, we'll check on that. Yeah, after this. In addition to Nitro Crypt King, there is a legendary version of Jawbreaker that will mm -hmm. that supposed to be available at Toys R Us beginning this evening. We'll okay, so here's Nitro Crypt King. Abby, yeah. take a look at him. Okay. Okay. And then take a look at him. Tell me which one you like better. Can I see the other one? Yeah. I think I like the Nitro Crypt King. You like the Nitro one better? 
Okay. And that's only a target, right? Right. I think the... Yep, only a target. Okay, cool. All right, so um, let's see. What else do we want to talk about? We talked about... That's that's all of Wave 1, right? Uh, don't forget to, to talk about the you know, pre-order only you know, Trap Master. Oh, right, yes. I almost forgot. And... It, and uh, um, Hoarder Gamer mentioned uh, her as well. Um, it's not here. supposed to be officially re in wide distribution until next year, until 2015 sometime. Yeah, I, I think there's been a lot of misinformation about this figure. She reminds me of the Ice Girl, too. This is Gear Shift. I've had... I've had a guy at GameStop tell me that they're going to have them on the shelves tomorrow. I've had a guy at GameStop tell me that the only way you could get this figure was to pre-order from GameStop. Granted, you know, guy guy at GameStop, how do you how do you know when they're lying to you? Well, you know, their lips are moving. But um, <laughs> she, um, I had him I had him tell me, hey man, the only way you're going to be able to get Gear Shift is if you pre-order her at GameStop. I'm like, oh, really? Because I just pre-ordered her on Amazon about two days ago, and I'm supposed to get her on or around launch day. Um, so, I don't know. Um, we do have... Is, go, go ahead, sorry. She's supposed to be pre-order only. Uh, that's that's how Activision intended her to be. Whether stores, you know, GameStop, uh, possibly Target, ordered extra ones, mm -hmm. you know, to make sure they had a few to give to people who didn't know or didn't want to pre-order, that's possible. Uh, it's even possible Toys R Us might do the same because they actually had pre-order cards made specifically for her. But in in my mind, I'm thinking that what is probably happening is they initially had a, a feel for how many they were going to need and either ordered just a round number that included a few extras or pre-order numbers to Activision. You had some people back out and move their money to other things. And as yeah. a result, they're already they're come to GameStop or Target or wherever because they've been allotted for that pre-order, but there aren't people available, you know, that had pre-ordered it anymore after that window closed. So that could be where those extra figures are coming from. Yeah, um, Hoarder Gamer says Gear Shift uh, ships into different stances uh, with unique looks and. Uh, has and looks really cool in the game i think myself really like a lot, lot of people of yeah this was the first figure that i saw announced really um back when trap team details were just starting to hit and i was just immediately sold on this game um swap force i was kind of eh on swap force a little bit uh we of course we bought it and we bought all the figures but I never, well, I never like, was like super excited about it. But, I think they're like yeah. two or one figure off. Yeah, we, we still need to get one of the bird guys. But anyway, uh, when I saw Gear Shift, I was like, awesome. You know, the the original character designs and awesome things about Skylanders that I fell in love with is back if all the figures are going to look this cool. So I cannot wait to get my hands on her and play with her. Um, I think she's going to be showing up on Monday in the mail. So, um, I was hoping she would show up today, like a little early Christmas present, but nope, didn't happen. Nope. Um, so, we don't, uh, if you if you have pre-ordered Gear Shift, uh, I hope you get her tomorrow. If you haven't, maybe you'll get lucky and find her on the shelf somewhere. Good luck on that. All right, let's talk about short packing. Uh, tell us what short, pack, short packed means, uh, Dark Child. Essentially, it is... It started out as companies realizing that, you know, uh, well, let me let me go ahead and start at you know, probably what would be the, the normal beginning for it, because you know, action figures and, and toys being collectibles really started with the, the launch of Kenner's three and three quarter inch Star Wars figures in 1978. And initially, all figures came in an equal number in the box, mm -hmm. and once sales got reported, you know, Kenner noticed, you know, and other companies that followed suit that sell as well as other characters. 
you know, in, in the original Star Wars ones, you would sell, you know, Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader. You know, those are consistently going to fly off the shelf. But, or the Sand Person, or the Star Destroyer Commander, they're not nearly as popular. They're kind of generic people. You, you know, unless you're wanting background filler characters, you're going to want to go for the heroes and the villains. Mm-hmm. And so you ended up starting to get what became you know, the term short packed. So instead of them shipping three of every character in the case, they would ship four of all the popular characters and then maybe one or two of the less popular characters. Fast forward to the late 90s. So basically they're just creating scarcity by not putting as many of some figures in the big box that they ship to the store that has all, all the stuff in it that they're going to put out on the shelf. Correct. And initially okay. it was done because they knew that they wouldn't sell as many of certain figures as they would of others. Yeah. Fast forward to the late 90s, early 2000s, when toy collecting really became you know a thing and, and started coming into its own, and eBay started getting popular about that same time. Mm-hmm. He's started doing that on purpose to create, you know, to intentionally create scarcity. So okay. that they drive up value of those figures that they intentionally put in there, and a lot of times it was popular characters that you know everybody wanted, but with only one per box. If you weren't there when they opened that box, you weren't going to get one. So, uh, our our download just completed. Yay! Can't find the Traptanian portal. Play on the go. Tap the screen to play on the go. Okay. Touch to continue. Select the save slot. All right. Um, Let's go with easy. Uh, Sorry. Um, we're checking out this demo, Dark Child. No problem. We're going to skip Eon's little spiel. I don't want to spoil anything for anybody. I'm just really curious if the game is even going to let us into play. Because we don't really have... Because we don't have any figures from this game, so we could hook up our Bluetooth portal. I wonder if it would let us pull in one of some of our older characters. Yeah. I'm going to skip all the cutscenes. No, 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 no. Well, I'm going to hide the cutscenes. I don't no. want to spoil anything for anybody that doesn't want to see this. One neat thing that is uh, unique to the tablet version, yeah. if you get the version, is... It is supposed to come I wish with I had this on my Kindle so I could play it all day tomorrow. Go ahead, sorry. There's supposed to be two unique Skylanders that are specifically unique and only in the tablet version. And they mm-hmm. are not fit. They're software figures that are included so that if you, you know, if it's if it's not an adult playing it or if it's not a parent playing it, if, it, if they get it for their child. How do you mm-hmm. make the move? And their child forgets the figures or doesn't have the portal, they will always have Skylanders that they can play with with that game. Yeah, it just gave me a guy called Instant Snapshot. He's like a, kind of a gray looking version of Snapshot. And like, uh, like an old brown. So I'm playing with the, uh, the basically the virtual D-pad or the virtual analog stick. Can I play? Yeah, you sure can. Um, here, I'm gonna let you play mm-hmm. while um, while I talk. So, <clears throat> hang on, I'm gonna. How turn. do you move? Um, you kind of have to just put your finger on and, and wiggle it around. Okay, so short packed. Um, actually, let me borrow this just for a second, okay? I want to check in on one thing um for for launch um we've got a list up on our website which is uh, minikaboom.com uh you can click on the or tap on the skylanders tab right there and it will show you all of our skylander videos and we've got uh some tabs down here with all the different figure breakdowns, minis, core, trap masters, traps, triple traps, etc. And you'll see a number beside each uh, each thing, which is how many of that thing is going to be in the case. So it looks like all the minis are going to be the same um, availability. Three. 
the the repose of Gilgrunt is going to be fairly hard to get tomorrow. The repose of Shroomboom is going to be a little harder to get, and then Torch, Flinty Bone, and Chopper are all going to be pretty easy to get a hold of. Um, for Trap Masters, it looks like Wallop and Crypt King are going to be the hard ones to get. Uh, for Traps, Whoa. the Undead Orb and Fire Torch look like they're going to be the hard ones to find. And let's see... Yeah, everything else is, is kind of on an even keel. So if you see tomorrow while you're out shopping uh, the new Gilgrunt, the new Shroom Boom, Wallop, Crypt King... The fire torch, the new or everything. undead orb traps. You might want to grab those because the they could be harder to find as time goes on because they are short packed in the cases of, yeah, of figures. Play. So okay, back to the game. Whew, well, that was a lot of information. Yep. Um, anything else that we need to let people know about for uh, launch day purposes? No elbowing, no running, no biting, no kicking. Yeah, practice good manners. It's not Black Friday. You're not entitled to to trample people to get your Skylanders, even though you might be tempted to. Um, are you gonna line up early anywhere tomorrow, Dark Child? Uh, I'm gonna line up this evening for the midnight launch, and then you know, if if there's a line tomorrow morning at easy. Up, you know, whenever they open, where's easy? Up, you know, those items. Yeah. That's easy. At least yeah. I can get in and stuff. For the most part, the the biggest uncertain for me is going to be Toys R Us because the only thing I could pre-order was the starter, and that's where I'm trying to get the, the bulk of my figures. I think we're going to get to Toys R Us tomorrow about seven, and maybe grab some breakfast on the way over and just kind of sit out in line. Can we get if, there, if there is a line, um, and hope for the best. I'm going to hide that. Okay, well, um, any of you guys watching, do you have any other questions for us? If not, we're going we're gonna to say bye for now. Um, we'll be back tomorrow starting around 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. If you don't know what that means, you can Google it. It's basically uh, East Coast time, East Coast USA. And we'll be playing the PS4 version of Trap Team uh, for the most of the day. And we'll be unboxing our figures along the way. We'll be looking forward to talking with you if you'd like to join us on the stream and hang out and say hi. Um, what, you, what is your day looking like tomorrow, Dark Child? Uh, go, to you know, go to bed late this evening, get up early tomorrow, go pick everything up, and then you know, crack everything up and start playing. Awesome. Well, it's cool. It's been a long time coming. Been excited about this day for a while. So, um, thanks for watching the stream here today. Look forward to seeing you back tomorrow if you're able to, to come and join us. Abby, do you want to say anything before we go? Um... <laughs> Are you too busy playing? <laughs> I don't know. I, I just found a, a new... Uh, potential reason to go to a different retailer. What's that? Uh, apparently, Kmart Can is advertising, and I haven't seen the advertisement, so I don't know if it's in a flyer or if it's online or what have you. But apparently, uh, Kmart is saying that they will give you 25,000 points on your Shop okay. My, My Way rewards card if you purchase Trap Team in their store. Is that a lot? That is equivalent to 25 free dollars for you to spend on any merchandise that you want. So it's basically you go to Kmart and buy Trap Team, you get a $25 Kmart gift card. More or less. But, but you have to be you know, a you know, Shop My Rewards card holder, which you know, I happen to be. And okay. You know, you, basically, it's, it's like any rewards card. Quarter Gamer says the Legendary Adventure Pack is going to be uh, hot at Toys R Us. Nope. Well, it, it will be there, but I don't, I don't know if it'll be hot or not. You know, Usually, most kids end up getting the, the standard ones, honestly. I've never been a huge fan of the Legendary figures. I get the fact of what they tried to do with them, but I, I've never liked their paint jobs when compared to uh, the normal figures. 
I felt like the only one that I was even considering buying um, instead of the normal figure was uh, Grim Creeper. And I ended up going with the, the light core of that one anyway. Um, so, so yeah, it's, um, I don't know. But uh, I've always, at least in my area, whatever, other than with, uh, other than Spyro's Adventure, any legendary stuff that Toys R Us has done has been so overstocked, it's not funny. Like, the shelves will just be, like, exploding with that stuff to the detriment of any other stock that they might have. <laughs> so, so yeah. yeah. I do a hoarder gamer. I love adventure packs too. I wish I could play all of my old adventure packs from the old games and all the new games. That would be my favorite uh, thing if they would let me do that. If they would let me pull in, um, what was the uh, the Ghost Roaster set from Spyro's Adventure and the the Terrafin set and all that? <laughs> I'd love to be able to go back and revisit some of those old things. Yep. All right, cool. Well, anything else you want to add, Dark Child? Nope. No other breaking news for me. Thank you guys for joining us today. It's been real fun. We were just so excited that we wanted to, to try to get some of this information out there. Hopefully it'll help you with your launch day tomorrow. We're going to put this video up on YouTube in just a few minutes and then share it out on our, uh, on our site and our social media channels. So... If you have any friends who are looking to pick the game up tomorrow, feel free to share it with them. Maybe it'll help them save some money. Um, and maybe we'll see you back here tomorrow. Oh, one thing we forgot. Uh, yep. It's starting launch day, but it goes all week. Uh -huh. uh, thing of If you trade in any of your old portals at GameStop, they will give you a free punch pop. What? Yes, that's a very good point. Um, if you have a stack of <laughs> Skylanders portals like we do, don't get them out. <laughs> we have like, it, it's ridiculous. We it's have so many. It's gonna be like our things. sixth portal. Yeah, um, you can trade you can trade the ones you don't need anymore in at GameStop, and they give you. We even had the DS version of the portal. They give you what's he what's he called again? Uh, oh, Punch Pop Fizz. He's the red alternate version of Pop Fizz from Giants. Gotcha. Yeah. So it, it's a Giants era figure. It's a little bit of an older figure, but it was kind of hard to get. I think you could only get it in the 3DS starter for Giants, right? In the U.S., yes. Eventually in Europe, they came out with a single pack, but he was not available individually in the United States. So that's a fairly hard to get figure that you can get just by getting rid of something that you may not want or need anymore. Um, if you want to hang on to your portals, by all means, hang on to them. But if, you, if you'd if rather have a free Pop Fizz, then, then that's going on at GameStop um, all this week, right? All this week. So from Sunday until... <laughs> all right, well, cool. Um, we're going to say bye now. No! I, have, I have a feeling Abby's going to be playing this iPad game <laughs> for the rest of the night. So... Um, Thanks a lot, and we'll uh, maybe we'll see you guys tomorrow. Say good night, Abby. I'm not even taking a chance. Abby. <laughs> Say bye. We're shutting the stream down. <laughs>